All right, just a quick little review of this uh, booster pack here. It's a 22 to 24 amp hour battery. I can't remember what it is. I got the inverter running. It's a 400 watt inverter. I'm just doing a little review of it, seeing if you can hook it to your house when there's no power and uh, run your house. Uh, minus the furnace, freezer, and fridge, so just the lighting and whatnot. And there's one complication I have found. It is hooked up into the dryer outlet here. And one thing I've found is that the inverter in this one in particular does not like multiple loads of fluorescent lights. Fluorescent or even uh, LED lights. Because right now, I have these on, right? And if I flick the other ones on down here, Everything goes out. Turn it off. These turn on. Everything turns off. Turns on. Turns the lights off. Turns them on. Turn these. This just turns more lights on down here. Turn it on. Everything turns off. It's, the watch goes up. And my sine wave goes flat. I don't know why. it off it works again so I was like okay hmm maybe just maybe uh, it has too much power going through it and the uh, inverter can't run it okay so I wanted to test that get this 200 200 watt uh, heater and let's uh, turn the panel plugs on where is this uh Where is it? 21. Don't need that. Don't need that. No. Nope. Oh, 17. Flickered everything. So there's a light on at 17. 15. Won't run. 13. I won't run. 11. It runs. Okay. Washer, dryer, plugs, kitchen. 12. I want to turn 12 on. Okay. No. It's still not working. Why is that not working? I wonder if it works over here. I just want to show that it does in fact have more than enough power. Now we're using over 400 watts, what it's rated for. And it's, it's heating, it's working fine. Lights are still on, which is really weird. Sine wave kind of goes to crap a little bit. Not the worst I've seen, but we are max loading this inverter. And it seems to be fine. Working just fine. Okay. Shut it off. Sine wave goes back to normal. Still, if I these on it just screws up with the inverter it will not turn on it won't turn the lights on so that is a fault in this inverter it doesn't like to run multiple I don't know multiple fluorescent loads and stuff like that so we're gonna try this in this little inverter it's just a tiny little thing that I built it's got uh, uh, 18 amp hours worth of lithium Ion batteries. I'm going to plug that in. It seems to be running it happily. Lights came on. Let's do a quick test. Oh, the rest of the lights come on in the basement. That is awesome. This is only a 200 watt inverter. All the lights are running. It's much better. Obviously, the inverter in this thing built in is not that great a quality. We'll turn that off. Voltage is still at, what is that? Come on now. 12.8, so it's not like it was dead or anything. Alright, let's see what the sine wave is like through this thing. I'm not going to turn this on, because that'll far surpass the output of this inverter. But I will check out the sine wave. Alright, here's your sine wave out of this little inverter. It's working fine. 
like I said, it's only 18 amp hours. So, if you don't have the same problem I had with this one, and you have no power, you could back feed with a small inverter. This is only only goes up to 1.74 amps. And you could fairly easily run your house. But let's go a little further. Let's see here. Let's turn some more breakers on. We're going to turn uh, 17 on. So it flickered a little bit, so there was definitely something on 17. So that was on. Turn 11 on. 11 is on. 14. Nope, that'll be 14. Turn that one on. These are all on. Turn that on. And I believe that's all I need to turn on. Now, I wish I would have had my kilowatt meter plugged into this to see what we're running, but I don't think we're exceeding 200 watts yet. I'll take this light with me just in case the power does go out. And I will turn lights off behind me so that uh, we get a longer run time. Be more realistic. Lights run. It buzz extremely loud because it's modified sine wave. For some reason this isn't working. I don't know why the upstairs light's not working. Everything seems to be working. I got a bunch of fluorescent lights in here. They're all working. Another light in here, it's working. Everything seems to be working just fine. Washing light, works, fan. Buzz is really loud, but it works. Buzzing away. I'm not sure why that upstairs light's not working. That's really weird. Oh, I probably have the breaker off. That's why. Definitely why. Okay. So, that's my video on running your house off a very small device like this. Like I said, this is a bunch of uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion cells. I just strapped a whole bunch together. Uh, it's about a 12 volt battery, 18 amp hours. There's a 200 watt inverter attached. I got a bunch of fuses on top because this thing likes to blow fuses. This thing could easily power the house if the inverter worked properly. I could easily hook up an inverter to the alligator clamps. And yeah, it would have been fine. Just the inverter built in is no good. But it does boost cars really well. This thing's boosted at like, I don't know, 20, 30 cars at least. So I won't fault it too hard. The inverter still works for single devices just fine. So uh, it's just not great plugging into your house. Just to show that the house is in fact running off this little inverter, I am going to unplug it and then we'll lose all power. Fan turns off, plug it back in. All the lights come back on. Just to show little ways you can have power when you have no power with cheap devices, like you can buy a booster pack like this for a hundred bucks, and you will have lights all night, as long as you're not running like um, 100 watt light bulbs and stuff like that, run a bunch of these little 13 watt fluorescent lights and stuff, I run all night, no problem, uh, thought I would uh, share this, hope you guys like it, see you later.